What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Now, if you haven't heard, I got a blueberries on my background. Just kidding. If you haven't heard, Adobe has released a big update for a bunch of their um, applications through the Adobe Suite, and in this case, Premiere Pro has a really major update. So it's 2015.5. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you should download it, go try it out. So let's open up Premiere. And first off, there are other really cool updates to Premiere, but I will be covering some of the updates inside of Lumetri Color. If you would like me to cover all of the updates, give me a shout out down below and I'll certainly make another video about it. But I want to make this pretty quick and all about Lumetri Color. So if you don't know what Lumetri Color is, it is the color grading software inside of Premiere now, which is super intuitive, quick, and helpful. Now, specifically in this, uh, new update they've added HSL secondary which is this cool tool to basically select color and change it which we will be covering so we're gonna go into our uh, footage and we're gonna find some uh, footage we can edit real quick let's jump into here there should be something down below so a new sequence from clip now that we have our clip selected we can go into color grading and sorry that the window changed I kind of made it more formatted for viewing purposes so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Cool. So Lumetri Color, if you don't see it, um, go to Lumetri Color and I also have my scopes open so we can kind of gauge the exposure and stuff like that. Cool. First new cool tool inside of Lumetri Color is the white balance selector. So this is a cool little eyedropper tool that helps you set your temperature and your tint. Normally you would have to kind of look at your scopes and be like, ah, let's move this over some. These already look pretty equal, but I mean like my eyes aren't that good, so how can we tell what the white balance should be if you, you know, messed up your Kelvin settings inside of your camera? So just click the little eyedropper tool, find white in your image. In case, in this case, we'll be using the back of the dog right at the butt because it is the widest image. You select it and boom, kind of give us our automatic reading. Now, does this have to be perfect or like this what it needs to be? No, you can do whatever you want, but it's a quick and easy tool to kind of get you where you need to be. So, quickly um, correct this. So we need to bring up the exposure a tiny bit. Kind of brings everything a little brighter. Bring up. Let's go to uh, curves and drop it down. Give it a nice S curve. I really enjoy this kind of look. Take the saturation, bump it up a bunch, and we're kind of on our way. Look, it's looking pretty good so far. So. Right, so now we need to jump into the HSL secondary, which is the next new tool inside of Lumetri Color. So we'll do this, we can close our scopes now, we're good to go. So what is HSL secondary? It is a tool that used to be, or it's in Adobe Speed Grade, but I don't use a Speed Grade, which is just color correcting software through the Adobe Suite. But they moved this tool over to here, which basically is you can custom select a color to edit. Now I'll go over what tool each tool does as we go. So in the very top you see you see set color, add color, and remove color. Now what this does is let you set your pre-picked color to edit. Now you can choose it through here as well. So if we wanted to change the reds, the yellows, greens, you kind of get the picture. Ooh, whites. Um, so what we'll do is we'll use set color to pick whip our color. So take your eyedropper and it'll uh, kind of bounce back to the original that you need to pick from your original and click a green. So this green right here looks great. Cool, so we automatically see this gets set to our green. So this is your hue, saturation, and luminance. So you can kind of adjust these parameters to better select your color. To see what we've selected, because nothing looks like, it doesn't look like anything's happening right now, we can click, tick this little box to show color gray, color on black, or white black. So we'll set it to color gray which kind of shows us all the greens we've selected. It doesn't look like it's all the grass selected right now, so we can kind of like manipulate it to get a little more. So back it off, go to the beginning of our timeline to show a wider shot of the green. We can go to add color right here and select this green right here. Now go to color gray, a lot more grass has been selected. Then we can take our hue and actually stretch it out a little more Take our saturation, stretch it out a little more. Take our luminance, stretch it out a little more. Now, if we scroll through, a whole bunch of the grass has been selected. 
it looks really good so far. And these little minute details right here shouldn't be too big of a deal. Let's switch to color on black and we can really see that we've selected a lot of this green. So a quick overview of this, that's how you select your color. Next tool is the refine. So you can denoise, get rid of some noise, or blur. So this is pretty cool. You can kind of blur your selection a little bit to let it you know, kind of blend a little more. But we're not really covering these right now, but they are there, really, really helpful. Next is your correction tool, which is what you use to change your color. So you can click right here to do a master edit of your color, or you can click right here to do shadows, midtones, and highlights. And if you know your color wheels, this is pretty simple and very straightforward, really helpful. Next is our temperature, tint, contrast, sharpen, and saturation sliders, which you should know from your you know basic correction what those do. But real quick, we can actually slide the green over to a more brighter or a more you know, punchy, grassy green, kind of like that photo green you know. Take your saturation of your green, bump it up a bunch. Let's turn this on and off to see what we've done. So it's the original is this kind of like brown, green, dirty grass. This is more of a bright, healthy green, I would call it. We can bring up the contrast a little bit. Go back in our timeline to really see a wide shot of the grass. Turn it on and off. And yeah, that's exactly how you use this really quick and easy. Give the saturation a little more. Bring this over. Now it's a really very perfect grass color, which I'm not a grass color expert, but I think that's how it would be. There you go. That's a quick overview of HSL Secondary inside Lumetri Color and a couple new updates for this specific tool inside of Premiere. Now, if you'd like me to go over the rest of the updates, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll gladly do a full overview video of all of Premiere Pro's new updates. Thank you. And if you haven't noticed, over the weekend, since it's July 4th here in America, I had a whole weekend of filming tons of stock footage for my stock stuff online, and there's a lot of really, really, really awesome 4K clips in here, like this, uh, this video of a girl with sparklers, looks really awesome. And if you'd like me to throw together like a 4K video thing, this really minimal and sleek kind of cool video, sure, I'll do it. Just leave a comment down below and I'll put it together. Cool, cool stuff. So as always, I'm Max. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment and or a suggestion. And thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Peace.